JW Marriott in the Polanco area of Mexico City and um, you know, just doing a little staycation action. So uh, we're gonna base here for a night and kind of check out the area. So uh, this video will be my first impressions of Polanco, which is I guess considered kind of like more of the the nicer or nicest part of uh, Mexico City. Um, getting the Uber in, it just feels like you're in downtown LA. So it kind of has that that vibe. So definitely excited. Getting a little hungry now, so um, I think I'm gonna get some food. So let's uh, let's see what Polanco has to offer. Check out this view from you're just walking. It's like it's like the whole the whole the hallway from the uh, from the elevator to the room. Like our room is like like one of these. It's crazy. It's a pretty cool hotel on the side of that flag. This lobby is like palatial. All right, it's time It's time to be fancy pants. I guess we're kind of in like the hotel zone area, so. I'm gonna see about walking over to Polanco proper. It looks like there's a long park and a long road, a lot of restaurants and shopping and that kind of, uh, that kind of vibe. But look at these homes, man. This is like, definitely like you're in California. <laughs> <laughs> or even the nicer parts of California for that matter. There's like a mansion right here. Or whatever it is, but it's crazy. That one looks fixed up, but there's a one here that's not fixed up. First impressions, not not so terrible. Pretty awesome sauce and I feel like the air is a little better up here too. <laughs> when we drove here we went uphill for quite a bit so I, th I think this is like on a mountain because there's a giant park to the left and the right and yeah. Looks like there's some kind of Christmas market up there. You want to go walk? Yeah. So these like Christmas pinatas and stuff are like part of the uh, it's part of the holiday celebrations. So I guess like when you're in the U.S. and you have like firework stands for 4th of July, this is like the Christmas stuff. So cool. <laughs> so this is like, well, this is all the restaurants. So it's like down here, down here, down here, and down here. Wow, this is, this is, this is seriously impressive. <laughs> it's beautiful. I think if you're just going to eat a lot of like international food, this is kind of the place to be. It's like, it's like Pasadena in L.A. is what it actually feels like. I think I'm a little too excited, but you know. This place I hear is really good. Still roaming around. There's like more options than any one human being needs. It's like crazy. Yeah, we're, we're just definitely just, just exploring now. Just roaming around. Palanco. We ended up at Bogo de Chao, it's a nice place. So it's like Brazilian steakhouse style stuff. So they'll bring out meat on the on a spit and you just kind of eat until you explode. I like how in Mexico they have this like giant QR code that you scan for your menu. All right, so we're gonna go with this churrasco experience here. It's 640 a person. Yeah, this is definitely a splurge meal, of course. A little little Christmas Eve action. I think this is the salad bar action here. It's pretty awesome. We've got a pretty good spread at the salad bar. Just mostly veggies. Kind of balance out all that meat. But now you take this guy right here. 
and you flip it over for green, which means bring me the meat. I thought coming here that I was gonna crush it and like eat a ridiculous amount, but the cuts are actually a decent amount of fat on it, so you're gonna fill up pretty quick, but I don't wanna overeat. You know, I'm not really into that beast, and so I think it was pretty good. And for the price, I mean, we went with the Brazilian experience, uh, as they call it, so it was a little bit less. It was 549 pesos, so that's about 30 something dollars, like low 30s, I think, uh, USD. So it's not bad for like the level of service and all this stuff, and like the location is like beautiful looking. And nice because um, there's like sushi in Mexico City that's gonna run you you know 400 pesos and it's like not good so yeah pretty glad we picked this place out and um, trying to get a table online it looked like everything was booked up but we just showed up and it's like only two other parties in here so don't 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 trust the online stuff <laughs> I guess or call you know but um, yeah excited. I think now we're just gonna roam around Polanco a little more and then maybe head back to the hotel for a little rest. I don't know. Look how beautiful the street is. It's really nice up here in Polanco. <laughs> Even the air is clear. I mean like just nuts. Definitely not a lot of like eateries or there's no street food or anything like that so definitely a different experience. Um, if you were to visit you know as most pe people say, stay in Roma because Roma has a good balance, you know. It's relatively safe, and there's a lot of like eat like like bars and food, and there's also like local food and regional Mexican food. But here for short term, I would stay in Roma still, which is kind of where we're staying. But this area is gorgeous. It's like you don't even feel like you're in Mexico City. It's like a good area to stroll around. day I'm on the search for some uh, traditional coffee and breakfast I think I slept pretty well last night that's pretty incredible <laughs> I would have to say okay got lazy we're at the hotel restaurant <laughs> so it's a buffet but it's not like self-serve <laughs> it's just yeah it's not bad you just point out what you want and they put it on the plate for you I also ordered something at the omelet bar a little bit of everything so bacon potatoes and like meat and salsa verde. So the uh, omelette just came. A little bit of everything. I got some Tabasco because it's not breakfast without Tabasco. Usually the food at Marriott's pretty good. Um, I almost stay exclusively at Marriott, so yeah, this first one's pretty good. I think the worst one was the one in Bangkok. <laughs> Their buffet was really bad, but um, it was good. So far, so good. Nice little staycation, I guess I call it. So, thanks for uh, joining me in Polanco. It was a pretty interesting area. Very, very nice. I don't know if I would stay here if I was, you know, first time in Mexico City because there's not much going on. It's just nice. It's just a nice area with a lot of nice restaurants. But if you want to like get into the food scene and kind of like get a little bit more of the culture, I think maybe Roma or La Condesa might be a little better for you. Thanks for joining. See you in the next video.